Hi there guys, welcome back to the eight points. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made these battle plan cards for the Warcry Catacombs book. Now, if you wanna make this stuff yourself, all you need is a smartphone, some card sleeves, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and a pair of scissors. So just to manage expectations, these are by no means perfect. These are something I managed to put together fairly quickly and easily, and you'll be able to do just the same. So these are not going to be standing up quality wise against other battle, per battle plan cards or anything like that. But they are certainly going to be good enough to get you playing the game with this content. Now, if we look at the cards, we've got terrain cards for catacombs. We've got terrain cards for the Azerite Ruins, which are from the Catacombs book. We have got the deployment cards, victory cards, which I made in Excel, and twist cards, which I also made in Excel. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna grab your copy of the Catacombs book, and you're gonna to wanna to take images of the following parts of the book. So you're gonna to go to page 34 and you're gonna look at this battle plan generator. Now this is all the deployment cards, so, so all the parts where your forces are gonna come into the game. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a smartphone and you're gonna take photos of each individual card. Now, these don't come out perfect, but they are perfectly usable. They may look a bit naff, and you're gonna to wanna to line it up nicely. They are certainly workable. Now what you need to do is you need to get your photo very, very square over the card that you wanna take an image of. And as soon as you've taken it, you wanna edit that photo so as it hugs the square edges. Now, if you take a square enough photo on something like an iPhone, and then you go in to crop it, it will automatically recenter that photo so as it's a square, which will make it really, really easy for you to crop the sides in so as only the actual face of what's gonna be a card is visible. Now, if you don't fully lock that square image on there, there is options on the iPhone so you can mess around with the levels so you can get it more square and that kind of thing. But ultimately, if it doesn't go right at first time, I would just try again and get it as square as possible. And what we'll be doing later is we'll be resizing these cards so as when we print them, they fit properly. So what you wanna do is you wanna do that for all of these. Then you wanna go through to page 39 and you wanna do the same for all these overground battle terrain cards. Now, in terms of general play and how we play Catacombs, we haven't got these cards for our deployment. We actually, there's a kind of generator here. So we'll be setting up bridges where we're supposed to. Then we'll be looking at the priority roles and choosing doorways individually as players and putting them wherever we wanna be. I don't particularly like doing it that way. So what I did was in the same way as I took these images, I went through all of the different campaigns and I took photos of all of the different terrain setups there as well. And basically what that gave me was about 30 odd cards. So a whole host, a whole host of dungeon terrain ones, and then a bunch of ones similar to the ones from the core box. Okay, so take all of those photos and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop them into a Word document. After you've cropped everything so as they're square, drop them into a Word document, and then you're gonna resize each individual image. And you're gonna resize it to 6.35 centimeters by 8.90 centimeters. Now to make our victory and twist cards, all I did was I opened an Excel document. You can mess around with the colors of the cells to match whatever you want. But what I did was I went for four separate cells. So the top one where I've got twist was 0.48 centimeters. The next one down, which has got the title of the card is 0.74 centimeters. The next one where it's got the bold narrative part of what the card does is 0.95 centimeters. And the last section is 4.18 centimeters. 
And what I did was I just literally went through the book and typed everything out. Now, some of the victory cards have got this symbol on here, which is important for when you're playing those battles. All I did was I took a photo of that part of the card, dropped it into paint, cut it out, and then just put that at the bottom of the description on the victory card. So what I did then was I printed this stuff out and I printed my cards out. And then the last thing I did was I took photos of the backs of all of my other cards, dropped them into paint and put a C on there so I could denote them as Catacombs cards going forward. Now I am aware that doing all this stuff takes a long time and it, it probably took me the best part of five or six hours to do all of this stuff. And whilst I need to be very careful because all of this is copyrighted material, what I will say is if you drop me an email and my email is in the description, and you just explain that you already own Warcry Catacombs and you just want my images of the cards or the Excel document, just drop me an email, explain all of that stuff, and I'll just send it to you. I can't just put a link on to download it because it's copyrighted material, but if I drop you an email saying, here's the stuff that you already own in a different format, then I think we're pretty good. So what you want to do then is you want to get your stuff printed and cut out. You want to take an old card that you don't need anymore. Don't worry, I haven't destroyed Mythic Belt's Pantheon to do this. I just had some extra cards. And what we're doing is we're taking our printed stuff and we're sandwiching it in between a card that we don't need. And we are sleeving it all together. Simple. So that's what I did for everything. Everything just got printed, cut and sleeved together. So there you go, guys. It's not going to win any awards for how great it looks or anything like that. But it is a very simple way to turn the information from our Warcraft Catacombs book into battle plan cards. Now, I much prefer playing Warcry in this format than I do rolling for setup and all that kind of stuff. I think it's much better done this way. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you find it helpful. I also want to say thank you to anyone who gave me some nice feedback for my last video, which was my build of the Warcry Catacombs wall sections. I actually have a second video following up from that one, and it is another way of doing it, which is even cheaper and even quicker. Stay tuned also for a tutorial for a modular Warcry Catacombs board, which I'm putting together a video for now. That will be up in about a week or so. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was helpful, and I'll catch you later.